Well, an offshoot of that visit by Premier Lee was the incredible security that was in place for the visit here in the national capital. The police blocked off several key roads, causing huge traffic jams. Metro stations were shut down for several hours, all to avoid Tibetan protesters. Delhiites are absolutely furious with the restrictions. The heart of national capital at a standstill. This after several roads and metro stations have been blocked in anticipation of Tibetan groups carrying out protests in various parts of the national capital, protesting the arrival of the Chinese PM. The Delhi police, in anticipation of these protests, carried out extensive security measures at various cross legs, causing major problems to Delhiites. Security arrangements and traffic restrictions even tougher than they were for President Obama's visit. But whether it was China's demand or India's attempt to avoid embarrassment by Tibetan protesters, it was the man on the street who suffered. Even the not-so-common man suffered, with the Jammu and Kashmir chief minister having to take a long walk to reach Kashmir House before he was stuck in a traffic jam. A large number of personnel were posted at the Chinese embassy and the hotel where Premier Lee is staying. Four metro stations in the vicinity, likely protest locations, were closed this morning, and there were traffic diversions on several roads. Each time a Chinese premier visits India, Tibetans march on the streets. But this time, the clampdown was harder than ever. Fearing preventive arrests, many of the usual protesters went underground. We know that we are not criminal. We are fighting for our freedom. And the dictator is in Delhi. So that's why we are protesting against him. We are shaming him. Independent Tibet, a free Tibet, will be the ultimate security for India. But the world's largest democracy completely muzzled even peaceful protests by the Tibetans this time. Tibet's Prime Minister has said on record many times already that India should make Tibet the core issue between India and China. At this moment, India has its own border concerns and its own trade and investment concerns with China. Reporting from New Delhi with Arif Anshil Vora, NDTV.